In 2010, Tom Curran started work on the Half Full Christmas Special, a three-part epic of Epicnicity. Production on this Christmas special was stalled, however, due to a deadly mixture of other projects, laziness, and man flu. So the Christmas special remained lost forever. Until one week ago, when Tom Curran found the lost footage on his hard drive. Realizing that he hadn't released a cartoon in over six months and still suffering from crippling laziness, he decided heroically to remaster this footage and trim what existed into an episode. This is the result. Sorry about the outdated character designs and, um, uh, hopefully enjoy the show. Maybe I didn't need to type that. All that. Signed, your pal, Tom. So this is the birthplace of Father Christmas. I have to say, I thought this place would be bigger than this. Who told you Santa was born here? I did. It was the only way I could convince him to come shopping. You do know the truth about Santa Claus, don't you? That he's actually a government spy? Yeah, that one wasn't me. I have a theory that he was playing for the other team during the Cold War. Right. The signs are in his fashion choices, John. Coca-Cola actually made him wear that red coat. Huh? No, I wasn't talking about his coat. It's the beard, John. No man west of the Berlin Wall wears a beard like that. So, by that logic, Captain Birdseye is a commie? Stop encouraging him. Have you noticed Captain Birdseye is never on TV anymore? No. Look, can you just pick out what you want for Christmas already? Huh. Nice to know you're going to surprise me. Every time I do that, you always tear down the decorations and declare that I've destroyed Christmas. I only did it that one time. The year before that, you set fire to the tree and locked us both in the house. By the way, you're banned from drinking before 10am this year. 7am. 9.30. 8.45. Deal. If you kill Santa Claus, do you become him? Oh, shut up. I don't see why we had to come to the city to shop. It's so boring. I did all my shopping online six months ago. Wow, that's efficient. See, John, you can learn a lot about organisation from Billy. I'm on to you. Sir, is there a problem here? The KGB! Quick, John, protect the women and children! We're not with him. Judas! Please come quietly, sir. Hmm. Only took him two minutes today. He's getting better. Worse. I forget how we keep score on him. In your dreams. I didn't say anything. Yeah, sure. Right. I had no intention of kissing you. You're still going on about that? Even if you're the last woman on earth, I wouldn't be interested. Oh, come on. Given the chance you'd kiss me. Absolutely not. You would if you could. Yeah, not likely to happen. Oh, I see. You don't want me to be the first girl you kiss. I've kissed girls before. A girl before. <laughs> Is this the dress you wanted to try on? Yep. It's a bit yellow. Doesn't that mean summer? No, yellow is yellow. But due to advances in global warming technology, December next year should be a balmy 25 degrees. Global warming means extreme climates, not necessarily hotter ones. Anyway, 25 degrees is a pretty specific number. Where did you hear that? Wikipedia, dude. So, anybody could have made that up? Yeah, but more specifically, I made it up. What is the point of this conversation? To annoy you mostly, I suppose. Once again, thank you for turning on the new countdown to Christmas display, Mr. Rickman. I really appreciate it. This is an important announcement. The following voice has been imitated. Badly. In the unlikely event that either Mr. Alan Rickman or a member of his friends and family see this, the writer, director, animator, and person imitating Mr. Rickman, incidentally the same person, would like to express his sincerest apologies. And now we return to our fine programming. Yes! Ah well, my brother is one of the key shareholders, you see. He told me if I did this for him, I wouldn't have to buy him a present to share. God, this is torture. I was in the Harry Potter, you know. This is all very below me. Well, Alan, I think you'll be quite impressed with the display you'll be turning on today. You don't mind if I call you Alan, do you? Please, Mr. Rickman. Oh my god, this is Die Hard! Is there something wrong with him? Oh, um, this is where we leave the troublemakers to cool off a little bit. Shall we move on? I must warn the others. What to do? What to do? Hello? Oh, 
I must warn the others. Wait, I already said that. So what you're saying is that it's possible to bring down a political party, company, and even product with the power of editing Wikipedia. Exactly. Why do you think that Lucky Star Serial still isn't about on the UK market? I'm telling you, John, Wikipedia is a powerful tool. Imagine what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. It's available to the general public. It's already in the wrong hands. Oh, yeah. Um, we should probably stop them or something. Oh, Alan Rickman! Uh, hello, people of Norwich. It is with great pleasure, but I... Not so fast, Rickman. Oh, goody. I thought he was locked up. I knew you were behind my incarceration. Did you? No, but it's so obvious now. Prepare to be at the receiving end of my missile toe. Get it? Yeah. A two-year ban. Was it really worth it? Not really when you think about it. The build quality of that thing was pretty poor. I'd at least have expected it to land at its feet. God only knows what would happen if it actually hit him. Nah, it would have been highly unlikely. There are at least three Harry Potter fanatics who dived in front of him. That's not the point. Why can't we have at least one Christmas where you both don't ruin it for me? Ouch, man. Okay, it wasn't one of my better ideas. And it probably didn't help that I licked all those fake giant candy canes at the entrance to the mall. I never realised cleaning fluid was so hallucinogenic. Besides, it's not as bad as the Christmas number one attempt he had last year. The singing mute sing the hits was a brilliant idea. It was 90 minutes of silence. At least 80% of the people who bought the CD realised it was blank. It was a novelty gift item. Besides, every CD came with my seal of approval. Uh. Uh.